channel so sorry if my voice is unclear because something's wrong with both of my microphones and I don't know what's wrong so in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to use OBS studio to record since someone requested it in the last video so I'm going to be showing you guys how to record Roblox in OBS studio so First of all, you'll need OBS Studio installed, it's pretty simple and I, I suppose that you already have it installed and once you have installed it, the setup may be a bit confusing like this thing, this thing and all of those buttons so we're gonna open a Roblox game to give it a test. We're going to be using Arsenal as an example because this because yes, why not? So, first of all, when we op when we want to record specifically this game, it's we we can't actually record specifically this game, or it will be viewed in the OBS thingy because we haven't attached the Arsenal game thingy to the OBS. So first of all, you will have to put a scene right over here. So this is a scene when people do live stream. So when you click a scene, you will have to add if you're record it depends on what you're recording. So if you're recording a browser, you must put a link of a browser. If you want to put an image, you can put an image. I will do a tutorial on how to live stream after this. So for example, I want to record this Roblox thing. So I'm either going to choose window capture or game capture or display capture. So I'm just using window capture, so I'll use window capture. You can also use game capture. So I'm gonna I chose Roblox. This is Arsenal, I'll choose Arsenal. Wait, no no, that's the that's Google. I'm gonna choose Roblox and change automatic to Windows 10. I don't actually understand what that means, but that technically makes it work. So you can choose capture cursor or not. So we can adjust the screen right over here. You can even add face cam here while you live stream. And if you want to resize it, you can just simply drag this. And if you want to crop it, you can just alt. While holding alt, you can make it like that. And it will become like this. Done. Simple as that. So after you have your screen selected, you can just simply start recording or start streaming. A stream. I'll do a streaming tutorial in the next video. So after we learned about the scenes, we're going to move on to the microphone. So this is a microphone. Um, it. This is the microphone where it records the desktop audio, where it records the sound of the game, and this is the microphone audio where it records you speaking. So first of all, if you want to, if you have a lot of microphones, you have to choose which microphone you want to connect. So I don't have any microphones connected right now except of my built-in microphone. So I will choose this one. And as you can see, so. Okay guys, so now I am going to show you guys about the microphone. I closed the game because it will it'll just make the video lag. So as you can see, there's desktop audio and there's microphone audio. So this microphone audio is recording the voice of your microphone and the desktop audio is recording the sound coming from your computer. So when you click properties, you can change your microphone. So I have no microphones connected. So I'll just choose my built-in microphone from my laptop and when you drag this volume thing you can see when I talk these green things move. So when it is in the yellow area it's still safe but when you want to live stream don't let your voice go to the red area. Good thing you can customize this, make your voice a bit lower and stuff. And this is a desktop audio so I will give you an example of the desktop audio. So you can hear the audio clearly and when we turn on this desktop audio thingy and play this 
it will go it will have a uh, thingy going up there because you can sense the audio so that's for the desktop now i'm going to show you guys the settings so yeah this is pretty much the settings you can change general output all of them to your liking and this is um specifically for streaming so um when you want to live stream you have to put your hotkey you can get stream key right here but i'm not going to click that because because i don't want my stream key to be shown to any other people because also you don't share your stream key to other people or they will be able to live stream on your channel i'll be making another video about live stream now for the output you can change the out what you want the output to become and i really recommend using mp4 because the last time when i installed obs it was mkv and it didn't work on adobe premiere pro and now for the audio you can just adjust the audio how you like it the video you can the bigger the size is the higher the quality is but uh, yes it's according to your pc as well so this is for the hotkey so when you're lazy to click start you can just click a key but you must set it up here first and this is for the advanced part i don't get this one so yes now when, if you've done any changes you can just apply it you can change the theme right over here oh no did i reset the theme no i actually ch accidentally changed the theme i want this back Okay, so I got the theme back and you can just click apply when you're done and yeah, so it will be right over here. I accidentally added a microphone here, accidentally. I can hide this one because we only need the desktop audio and the microphone audio for the basics. So set next, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys about this scene thingy and the transitions. So first of all, I'm just going to put an image example. So I'm just going to put an image of um, what image should I put? A cow. Yes, a cow. The most simple thing ever. So I'm just going to put an image of a cow right over here. And so now I have got the image. When I change scenes, it fades because the transition is fade. So here I've got the window capture of my chrome screen you can change the transitions here i like to use slide it's really simple like that you can add more scenes like transmission and that so yeah 